Hi, Marty Fault. This is Alina. Today we're going to talk about creativity, which is essential for all the creatives, all the artists out there. But first of all, I would like to remind you to hit the like button in order to help the YouTube algorithm recommend this video to other creatives out there. Just a brief reminder that I have a playlist about artistic organization, about networking, grant writing, about running your own artistic projects, about being creative and being your own manager, running your own artistic career, and the link to the playlist is right here. Make sure to check out those videos if you have not done so yet. And I'm also offering my personal consultations where I would be looking and discussing with you your artist statements, artistic resumes, grant proposals, project budgets, and whatnot. So I am ready to brainstorm your project with you and help you out. Move on and run your artistic project, especially if this is your first time. You can also read about my experience um, in artistic entrepreneurship. The link is provided down below. I have received various grants, aids, and I have collaborated in organizations in seven countries around the world. I've been doing this for over five years and I'm eager to help you out with your own project. But how can we actually improve our creativity? I guess everyone is really curious and I've got some tips today that might be helpful for you. Look at your creativity as if it were a muscle. So treat it as a muscle and train it as a muscle. Remember that without practice, without artistic practice, everyday practice, sometimes some boring practice, technical practice, nothing will actually work. No matter how creative you are, but if you are not exercising, if you're not putting your inspiration into practice, nothing's gonna come out. I mean, that's probably understandable, but still to make sure that we are all on the same page here. And some people complain that they are not inspired, that they do not feel inspired to practice. Well, I have one thing to tell you that might not sound so sweet, but it does lead to results that inspiration doesn't always come, knock on your door every single morning. Inspiration comes in process. Sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter because it will come in the process eventually. So you never know when it's gonna show up. You are the one who has to show up first. So show up, practice, and most likely your inspiration will follow you. But what's the most crucial thing in actually improving your creativity is finding your final goal, is setting your final goal. I don't mean an event or a price or something of this sort. I mean your artistic goal. It can be learning a new skill, uh, working with new material, learning new rep, exploring a new approach, something like this that makes you a better artist at the end. Then you're gonna be really caught up in the process because it's a new thing and it keeps opening the horizons, the artistic horizons and the inspirational horizons for you. When you are trying out something new, you have not done it before and maybe you wanted to or maybe it comes as a surprise, you saw something, you heard something, you want to try that immediately, you are putting it into practice and it evolves inside you, inside you being an artist and then you become a better artist and a better person usually. Creativity comes when you have more skills in use. For example, you want to create, let's say, a painting. And you want to explore some new approach. You need to learn some new skills for it. You want to do something that you have not done before. So first of all, you have to really specify for yourself what is it exactly that you need. Maybe you need to learn a new technique that you have never executed before. And when you do know how to use that technique after all, after you have learned it, you can do whatever you want with it. You can actually change some things about it. You can try it out in other ways. So when we do have a skill set in our use, then we are free to take it further and to explore it, to present it from new angles, 
to find fresh ways and to embody it in our art. So if you're not really sure what your final goal is, ask yourself, what do you want to achieve with your art? What do you want to achieve as an artist? What it is that you want to bring to the world? What is your art really about? In fact, I never thought about this before I started applying for the grants, because the grant applications often ask questions like this, you know, artist statements. What is the project about? Why is it needed? And I realized that I did not have a clear idea in my mind. Why was I doing what I was doing at the moment. So grant writing is not just about the money, it's not just about the funding for your projects, it's also about understanding what you're doing, why you are doing it right now, and why is it needed. And also how is it different from everyone else's art? How does your project stand out? How does your view stand out? I'm not saying it's better or worse, but every artist is a unique individual and every approach is unique. Each of us has our own story to share. Each of us has our own background. We all have something, each of us has something that nobody else on the planet has and we have to cherish it. The only way for us to share it is through creating the art, but knowing what it is that we create, why we created, why is it relevant? Before you actually specify it for yourself, you cannot specify it, nor for anyone else, nor for any application, but when you know what it is, it's going to help you structure your future path much better. If you need to write up an artist statement, you won't be able to do it before you actually understand why do you create art. So artist statements are in fact needed for our own selves, for the artists themselves, because they help us clear the picture in front of us, they help us optimize, they help us choose the wisest approaches that are relevant for us at the moment, and it also does improve the creativity. Because when you are trimming your ideas, your side projects, something that maybe is fun to do, but it's not going to help you in the long run. So when you're optimizing your plan, when you clearly understand your artistic priorities right now at the moment, it also does boost your creativity because the inspiration will come when the way and the goals in front of you are clear. And they should be clear enough, first of all, for you to understand and to follow them. So the big goal or the final goal is not always some kind of an event or a release or a tour or an exhibition or whatever, because what matters the most is how you grow artistically during the process of going towards that goal. So once again, really quickly, if you are looking to brush up your project descriptions, your grant applications, your artist statements, resumes, budgets uh, for projects with me, I am happy to do it with you. And you can sign up for a personal consultation with me by clicking on the link below in the job form. Subscribe to this channel, hit the like button. I wish you an amazing, amazing week. Stay creative and I will see you in the next video. Bye.